Okay, this is a bit of trading video for Plateau Guardians out there. This is Captain Sweep. What we need is we need multiple camps across British Columbia stopping any old growth logging. If you block a road and you take a crew of 20 people and go block a road that is logging BC old growth you are a hero at a superhero team. Now you got to get this. There's almost none left. Everyone is on our side. And there's this unconscious machinery that's just gobbling, gobbling, gobbling up all the last remaining sacred trees. And it's like, you got to get it. It's like, you go to Burning Man. You go to Chabala. You go to all these festivals, you have such a good time. It's beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful people. But meanwhile, back at the farm, the frickin' old growth are being logged. Like, this is the most beautiful, sacred, incredible land. Like, your grandchildren and the people after that are just gonna so it'll change their lives just by being in their presence and they're being cut down for decks in osaka or whatever the frick they are like the youth of british columbia rise up like nothing is more important than this going to school ha you know getting a job ha Protecting Mother Earth? Yes! This is our heritage as human beings. It isn't being in concrete silos staring at screens and whatever you do there. I know you might feel disconnected. I know you might feel as if, well, I'm not part of that. I'm in my city. Well, wake up! This is humanity. This is species-level stuff. And if you think you're not connected, you are. So this is Elijah Captain Sweep speaking to the people, speaking to the people around the world, speaking to the people in British Columbia. Are you wusses? Are you going to let this happen? Do you think it's okay that they cut down the last remaining old growth forest trees in supposedly our land? Come on, get out here. You got so much wealth. You got so many houses it's worth millions and millions of dollars made with wood, made with, you know, having water come through your house. Where do you think this stuff comes from, right? And we're taking and we're taking and we're taking. Come on. It's time that we, as human beings, start to treat our world with respect and treat each other with respect. Stop the fricking warring, stop the fricking arguing and focus on what's important. And what's important is the old growth forest right now in British Columbia. And if you're not part of that team, if you're not contributing, you're probably not gonna like this video. But maybe, maybe. Maybe old Cap Street's got to calm down a bit. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm getting a little bit too much. But am I? Like, am I? I don't think I am. I think we all have to go a little crazy. We all have to see what's happening in front of us. These freaking nutballs create these psychopathic things that the whole world is... <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the farm, they're fucking juicing us. They're juicing us. These trees should not be coming down. There's no economic sense. None. It's just greed. It's just freaking greed of whoever's in that value chain going, I got my money. I logged it. I manufactured it. I did it. I won it. I got my money. Fuck that. It's not right. It's not right. And we got to do something about it.
And look at this. We all have cameras. We all have phones. There's an international media network that we can create on our own without anybody's help, without anybody's permission, without anything going. You can't do that. Like, where are the people? The people are you. You are a planetary guardian. You are important. You are one of us. All of us. We are the ones protecting the planet from the freaking nutballs. Get it? Got it? You know, get creative. Make some murals. Stop sitting on your asses on the couch playing your games while the freaking world is destroyed. Like, come on! What do you got to get? Get into teams of four people. Get four teams into five teams, five, five teams of four, 20 people. Get 20 people. If you can get 20 people, you're a freaking hero. Get 20 friends, get a whole bunch of camping gear and go put it somewhere. Right? Okay. Captain Sweet. <sighs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't upset the cart. I know. Don't rock the boat. You know, don't. You know, I need to feel safe. I need to feel. I got. I can't do anything. What are you gonna do to me? I'm gonna, gonna say fuck that. I'm getting all riled. But you understand, like, people have been fighting this fight forever. And they're by themselves. They're small groups. They're heroes. The people, anyone who's done anything to protect the old growth across the fort, across the planet, are heroes. There's people right now stopping the trucks. They're so beautiful. That is what is important. You have to understand what's important. What has value? What has value to us, to the world? What is sacred to us? They're trying to take what is sacred to us. And I don't care about religion. I don't care what religion you are. You got to understand sacredness. It's not about a bunch of beliefs. It's about honoring where you live. It's about seeing what you're being given. It's about, you know, real life. Not going into an office being told what to do because you're on some fucking shareholder list. Think about why are you here? Why are you here? You are here to spiritually evolve. To spiritually evolve, you need to serve something bigger than yourself. You need to see the world you're in and go, wow, you know, how can I contribute to this? And find people who love you and spend time with them and love them. It's about love. It's about connection. It's about fun. It's about joy. It's not about freaking having a horrible life in a little cubicle just so you can pay money to exist. I mean, that's... It's got to be the worst case scenario. They make all these movies of worst case scenarios because they're programming you to think that this is the way it should be when it's utter bullshit. We can create the utopias. We can create this beautiful world. But it takes a mindset. It takes a mindset of interconnectivity. It takes a mindset that is fundamentally in connection with the rest of all life. And if, if your mindset is, I just have to make money so I got to live, it's a very different mindset, but it's a trap. It's a trap, and they're trying to trap you. And I know what you're saying. You're going, oh man, I mean, I'm in my apartment, I'm by myself. I just got to make some money. I just got to live. But I'm just saying, you're not living, man. You're not living, woman. You got to come out into nature. You got to come out here and 
and see. You know how beautiful it is, how worthy it is, and we've been raping and pillaging and, and, and treating it so badly for so long that now, for the first time, because of this, and because of the generations to come, because of the kids, because of the children, they're, they're going, what are you guys doing? Like, why are you guys doing that? Like, we're out of control. Our society is insane and doesn't know it. All these politicians always talking their BS. And they're fucking insane. And I'm saying they're fucking insane. I'm swearing. Yeah, swearing, Canadians. Wow. Woo. Oh, what's he swearing for, man? Like, I mean, now he's being polite. And we're, we value politeness, so I'm not going to listen to him anymore. You know, stop trusting politicians. Everybody in Canada. You know, stop it. They're just a pack of freaking liars. They're a pack of freaking thieves. And we give away so much of value that, you know, it's time for an evolution. Not a revolution, an evolution. It's time for our whole species to stand up and just stop. Stop the insanity. Stop the cutting of the old growth forest trees and find some balance, you know? Just find some balance and start here in British Columbia. You know, we've got this incredible place. We have this horrid history. You know, we all know it now that, you know, the psychopathic mentality of thinking that you can treat indigenous people like, like, like th that, ha like a genocide and steal all their land is, is that's over. You can't do that anymore. Everybody is, you know, understands that that is just a pack of thieves at the top, you know, creating some infrastructure that goes around stealing everything. That's not right. So we're moving into a new paradigm. We're moving into a whole new world. And to do so, you have to have the mindset of understanding what you value. What do you truly value? What do you truly support? What are you putting your time, energy, and resources into? Is it into this old paradigm that's destroying the world? Or is it into a new paradigm of love that is caring, that is respectful, that is treating the world as it should be treated? You know, like as, as our home, as a place that, you know, you don't destroy your home. You know, that's what we're doing collectively. So we need a mindset. We need a manifesto, a new earth manifesto. We can all agree upon. And then start living that way. I don't know if... Uh, <laughs> I just think everyone needs to speak the truth about this. I'm going to send this to all my friends. And uh, anyone I know, and if you agree with this, share it. Uh, if you uh, don't agree, well, write in the comments. And I'm sure we'll all make fun of you, okay? <laughs>